Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Once a game thought to bring balance to the Force crashed in a blaze of glory that no Halo title before had. In an instant of fiery fame, it blew up as one of the most broken titles in video game history. But now, only four years later, it returns as a bright new entity, shining glory upon all its titles contained within. Ah, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tried to uh, script an interesting intro to this video, and I think I somewhat succeeded, but not in the way that I thought I was. So yeah, today we're going to be talking about MCC. So, what's going on everybody? My name's Daniel47 for all of you that don't know, and for those of you that do, welcome back to the channel for more quality content. Today we're going to be talking about Halo the Master Chief Collection. I know, it's been four years! Four long years since the incident. You know, since the Master Chief Collection fell from the heavens and graced us with its gloriously broken multiplayer and laggy campaigns. In any case, the Master Chief Collection is in its second release. To those who do not own it, the game is now $30, and for those that own Game Pass, it is available to download now. Those who own it but don't have it installed can download a complete and almost different game entirely from before. Those who bought it to replay the campaigns can do so with ease and even uninstall after each one is finished to clear up space. For those who wish to play multiplayer with friends, they can do so now with the added ability of playing it in 4K, through LAN, or even online consistently. My point in saying this is simply to drive home the fact that right now the Master Chief Collection that we deserve is available to download for free, $30, or even $10 a month. The game is easily accessible to everyone, whether you paid $60 for it originally to walk in Chief's shoes again through the eyes of Agent Locke, or plan to play some old school Halo with your buddies, you can do just that. I may seemingly come across as a 343 fanboy or a paid promotionist, but honestly, I'm not. I'm just here to say simply, as a genuine fan of Halo, that we're back. Halo is easily accessible, optimized, and completely on Xbox One right now. You have no idea how long I've waited to say those words as the Halo fandom has been through such a large variety of mixed emotions in the last couple of years. 343 has certainly done well this day, and the nostalgia goggles are officially back on, boys. Harp on them as much as you like, but fixing this game and adding it to Game Pass was probably the best thing for the community and a great way to make amends. Now before I go off the rails in any way, I want to end this video here, but before saying that, thank you 343, and welcome back everyone to the world of Halo. I genuinely believe that our times of hardship have paid off and this is the first of many, but a step nonetheless forward. Now. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's really all I've got for you today, guys. I know this was probably one of those videos that you're probably just like, wow, this guy just really loves Halo. But I do, honestly. <laughs> I, I can't really say much of anything different. And the Master Chief Collection being fixed is probably one of the happiest points I've ever been in my life. So anyways, like I said, that's, that's going to be all for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, Spartans.